Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this fixed beam by consistent deformation method. The span of the beam is given as 6 meter. This beam carries a concentrated movement 150 kN meter at a distance of 4 meter from the left support. The concentrated movement is acting in the clockwise direction. Now let us find the degree of static indeterminacy. In this beam, the number of unknown reactions and movements are 4. The available equilibrium equations are 2. The degree of static indeterminacy will be 4 minus 2. So it will be 2. From the point B, let us release MB and RB so that the point B becomes a free end. Now this beam is a cantilever beam. Now let us make the coordinates diagram. Let us keep RB as the first coordinate and let us keep MB as the second coordinate. In these two equations, to find these displacements, we are going to use unit load method. In the unit load method, we have to find the moment M, the moment M1 and the moment M2. First, let us find the moment M. We have to make sections. In this beam, there are two different parts, AC and CB. So, we have to make two sections. You can see that I have made two sections, one in AC and one in CB. I have made both of the sections at a distance of X from the point B. Now, let us make a table. In the table, first let us enter the members. There are two members, BC and CA. Let us enter them. For both of the sections, the origin point is B. Let us enter that. For the member BC, the limit is 0 to 2. For the member CA, it is 2 to 6. Now we are going to find the moment M. We are going to find the moment from the point B. In this case, we have to follow left hand side rule. Clockwise will be negative and anticlockwise will be positive. Let us find the moment M in BC. Up to this section, there is no load. So the moment in BC will be zero. Let us find the moment M in CA. Up to this section, there is no load, but we have a concentrated moment 150. It is acting in the clockwise direction, so it will be negative. Now we are going to find the moment M1. For that, we have to remove all of the loads and moments from the beam. And then we have to apply unit load in the first coordinate. Our first coordinate is RB. So for RB, we have to apply unit load. Here I have applied unit load. Now let us find the moment M1. Up to both of the sections, there is only one load. That is the unit load. The unit load is acting in the anticlockwise direction about both of the sections. So it will be positive and the distance is x. 1 into x, we will get x. Now we are going to find the moment M2. For that we have to apply unit moment in the second coordinate. Our second coordinate is MB. So we have to apply unit moment for MB. We have kept MB in the clockwise direction. So we have to apply the unit moment in the clockwise direction. Let us find the M2. Up to both of the sections, there is no load. We have only the unit moment. It is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative. Now let us find delta 1L. The formula is integration of M M1 upon EA dx. For BC, the value of M is 0. So no need to do the integration. We can directly enter 0. For the member CA, let us apply the values of M and M1. 
the limit is 226 now we can take a calculator and do this integration if you do not know how to do integration in the calculator see the description below there is a link you can click the link and watch the video for delta 1L we will get minus 2400 upon EI now let us find delta 2L the formula is integration of m m2 upon ei dx in the formula let us apply the values of m and m2 for delta 2l we will get 600 upon ei now let us find delta 11 the formula is integration of m1 square upon ei dx here we can use a shortcut for both of the members the value of m1 is same also ea is constant in this case we can do only one integration the limit for the integration will be 0 to 6 for delta 11 we will get a 72 upon ei now let us find delta 12 and delta 21 both of them having the same formula integration of m1 m2 upon ei dx for both of the members the values of m1 and m2 are same so here also we can use the shortcut x into minus 1 we will get to minus x for delta 1 2 and delta 2 1 we will get to minus 18 upon ei now let us find delta 2 2 the formula is integration of m2 square upon ei dx here also we can use the shortcut for delta 2 2 we will get to 6 upon ei we have found all of the displacements in these two equations let us apply them so that we will get these two equations now we can take a calculator and solve these two equations for rb we will get 100 upon 3 kilonewton and for mb we will get 0 now let us find ra we have found rb it is acting upwards we know that in this beam there is no load in this case the values of rb and ra will be same but the direction will be different since rb is acting in the upward direction ra should be acting in the downward direction now let us take a moment about a and find ma rb is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be positive and the distance is 6 so 100 upon 3 into 6 the concentrated movement is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be negative let us assume that ma is acting in the clockwise direction so that it is also negative for ma we will get a positive value that means our assumption is correct ma is acting in the clockwise direction now let us find the shear force values from the point A and towards the point B I am going to find the shear force values in this case we have to use right hand side rule upwards will be positive and downwards will be negative using the rule we can find the shear force values here you can see the shear force diagram now let us find the bending moment values let us find the bending moment at a in the point a we have ma which is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive now let us find the bending moment at just left of c the moment ma is acting in the clockwise direction so that it will be positive or a is acting in the anticlockwise direction so that it will be negative and the distance is 4 finally we will get minus 83.333 now let us find the bending moment at just right of c for that with this value we have to add the concentrated moment 150 since the concentrated moment is acting in the clockwise direction it should be applied as positive finally we will get 66.667 we know that in the point b the bending moment is zero here you can see the bending moment diagram 
this is the point of contraflexure. In this point, let us make a section and find the distance. In that point, I have made a section at a distance of x from the point A. In this section, we can find the moment and we know that it is a 0. Using that concept, we can find x. Let us apply that. Now, we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.